Hey, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super excited because this episode is going to blow your mind, make you inspired to do things that are way beyond the call of duty. And we're going to go real deep on some of the topics and talk about real life with some of my favorite ladies in customer success, Ajoa and Kishla. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Kishla Caesar Jones. I am one of the founding members of Success in Black. I am a senior partner success manager in the higher education marketing space, but I'm happy to be here as one of the founding members of Success in Black. And we're here speaking on behalf of that person who said, I can step up and I can be a voice and I can be a space. And that's Asia Bay Aramaselli, who is our founder. What was missing to make this so important for you on a personal level? Success in Black was conceptualized in the summer of 2020 as an organization. And we were all at a standstill as a result of the pandemic. And so it was something that we couldn't look away from. It was spurred on by the Black Lives Matter movement. There was trending and protesting in the streets in response to George Floyd's murder. Asia May was finding herself getting a lot of outreach by CS colleagues who were asking, you know, what can they do to support the cause? How could they do it in a more practical way? How could they use their knowledge and expertise and cadre to help Black talent in the CS industry? And so she coalesced around a lot of other leaders who are in our group and our organization to think about ways that they continue these conversations, to be able to do it at scale, to be able to bring resources to bear to make it available to Black talent in the CS community. For me personally, I've been working in CS for a little over five years, but when I made the decision to decide to put my personal off-the-clock time into this work, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it to support Black talent. Do you feel like if you had that resource maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, how would that have made a difference for you? I think it could have made a huge difference. We hear the quote all the time, you can't be what you can't see. Many of us work in spaces where we're the one, the only. We've been used to functioning in, in dynamics in that way. It's challenging for me, being able to be in spaces where I know I can feel safe and supported and get guidance is helpful. I'm now a mid-level CS leader and I'm still looking for spaces while I'm focused on giving my time back to people who are just starting on this journey or in the middle of their CS manager careers, I still think there's a space that can help people like me in middle level management that are looking to continue to grow and excel. And so Asia May has been a great source of inspiration as well as some other CS leaders. So I think there's just a lot of great opportunities with an organization like Success in Black to help people feel seen, and nurtured and heard in spaces where we don't represent the majority. Joa, do you feel the same way? What propelled you to say, you know what, I'm going to step up and this is going to be something I'm very passionate about? What triggered it? My name is Ajoa Akufil Soa, and I'm actually a member of Success in Black. I am a customer success manager. I work in the prop tech space, so I have a background in multifamily property management. Being a newer member of Success in Black has been game changing for me. So I started out in my college years studying urban studies. So I was always fascinated about how cities operated, how they worked. Why do people move to them? Why do they live there? And there's a lot of inequities that comes up in your research when you're looking at cities. So to kind of fast forward to my career in property management, you still see the same type of like inequities with housing that comes up a lot, but also with your salary, because I worked in property management out here in Washington, D.C., and you definitely see that it is an industry that has a large amount of Black and Latino workers, we don't necessarily make that much money. So I wanted to shift myself to work on the tech side of property management, so property technology. And in that space, now there is still a lack of diversity that does need to be addressed. So joining a group like Success in Black has just been game changing because it has allowed me to get resources that I typically wouldn't have access to, to ask questions to talented and knowledgeable members and leaders that are a part of the customer success community. And it has helped propel my career and just my understanding about customer success in ways that I'm truly grateful for. Would you say that the community you built was A, to provide resources but also give a safe space to talk about things that are 
I like full paw. At its core, Success in Black was founded to provide career support, professional and personal development in that safe space. And so the community that we have that we interact on a daily basis is healthy environment in a lot of different ways. Sometimes we're trying to hash out a particular CS strategy that we're trying to figure out or sharing a best practice that we've done. And other times we are maybe trying to have a better understanding of how to prepare for an interview. As with all communities that have like experiences and shared dynamics, there is that space. And, and as a Black person, I know I move into spaces and you are always checking yourself. Was that because or did that happen as a result of? And it's always nice to be able to reach out to people that you know can share that experience. One of the things I find helpful is that I can just ask questions about customer success. It doesn't matter how quote unquote dumb or unpopular that question is or if maybe it's been asked a million times before or it's never been asked at all. I feel very safe going into our Slack channel or messaging one of the members on LinkedIn or even texting Keisha. Just being able to have access to community 24 seven that is not only there to help answer your questions, but you yourself as a member can answer other people's questions too. I love being able to go into a space and not feeling embarrassed, not feeling ashamed, but actually feeling affirmed, supported, nurtured, given resources, giving accurate information to impact my career so that I'm successful on my job. Why are you double clicking on the professional growth more so than anything else? And what are you hoping to accomplish with that and the support to the African-American community? Yeah, you know, Success in Black is there to to do practical things, right? We know that the situation in social justice and criminal justice, the reforms that are necessary, we can't solve that in our day-to-day -day work. So the reality is, though, that levels of injustice that exist in criminal justice exist in all organizations. And so I think the work is about how do we shine a light on where those barriers exist for professional employees. Black CSs were only represent 3% of the profession, and this is a growing profession. And we know that there's talent out there to be had to bring into organizations to better uplift and propel uh, things forward. So for us, we find it important to make sure that we are providing strong career guidance, amplifying voices. There are so many people sharing ideas and strategies, and that platform of being elevated by others gets done for some than others. We want to make sure that we give our members opportunities to speak at events. You reached out to learn more about Success in Black, and Asia May as a founder is all about elevating voices. And so we have sent members to conferences. We've advocated for support and resources for better training and development with partnerships like Success Coaching that we have to be able to offer support. We have a job board. So it's about taking that trauma that's happening in our day-to-day -day lives and channeling it appropriately in the work that we do and making sure that we are a part of transforming what CS looks like. Because the reality is CS teams serve customers. Customers are diverse in their makeup and you need to have teams that are bringing the ideas and the strategy and the thinking to bear and black talent has that. And just to give some context before I go into my story of how I got into customer success is that only 3% of black folks are in customer success. That's compared to 78% of customer success managers, which are white. And also the wage gap between black customer success managers and white and Asian peers is about roughly 10K. So we're earning less and we're not represented in this industry that touches on every industry, every facet of society. So the good thing is that where I'm situated, Washington DC is actually ranked at number three in the United States in terms of tech. So we have a talented and educated workforce here. We have a lot of tech startups and entrepreneurs that are people of color as well. And the workforce in DC does represent DC itself. It is a diverse place. The population of African-Americans here in DC is about 45%. That's one of the highest populations of Black folks that you'll see in the country. So we have what it takes to be in these roles here in DC specifically. I know that there is a study, I did kind of want to cite this, by the DC's Council of Racial Equity. So all that I said before, like we have the talent here, we have the education here, 
Black people in DC make up the majority of the service and manual labor workforce. I believe that this is a perfect opportunity for tech companies that are looking for subject matter experts in fields like banking, property management, prop tech, which isn't diverse, pull upon Black and even Latino professionals that are in the field working on the ground, using technology to do the work that they approach on a daily basis and actually help them transition into tech. These are the experts. They know how to problem solve and have a ton of transferable skills. And in terms of my story, I started out in property management, like I'd mentioned. I was fascinated about the platforms that we worked on in the property management offices. So I wanted to be behind the scenes more and I also wanted to earn more. And when I entered prop tech, and I entered customer success. That was a journey that I took by myself. I didn't know about success in Black at that time. So it was challenging to find companies, but when I did find opportunities, I jumped at it. And when I needed support, that's where I found success in Black. I found my mentor on LinkedIn, and she was the one that actually connected me to success in Black. From there, I was able to tap into resources like success coaching, which allowed me to take a course at a discounted rate, learn more skills about customer success, and just be more impactful in my role. 3%, I was not aware that it was that low. And I think it's because of my personal experience. I coach executives typically. And so through the many different companies that I worked, I actually have worked with a few African-American executives of customer success. And they were all extremely brilliant, intelligent, obviously, very articulated, just like you two. Why is this happening? How can we only have 3%? Is it a two-way street? First of all, young African-Americans that finish their bachelor's degree, their education, are not even aware that they have a path to become a customer success manager. They're not aware of the role. They feel uncomfortable about it or they knocking on doors, but they don't have the support they need in order to get in. It can be a two-way street for sure, but I do believe that the recruitment pipeline needs to be diversified. And what recruiters and hiring managers and companies can do is actually meet candidates where they are. So when you have a network like Success in Black, this is a talent pool of Black folks that are interested in customer success that already work in it, are transferring or transitioning into it, that have skills, that have experience, that are these subject matter experts. I think the onus is on hiring managers and recruiters to go to where the candidates are. It is about access. We just had this ruling about affirmative action, and that whole situation was about creating access to groups of people that were historically denied access. So that is where success in Black just stands in the gap and is like, here, we have talented candidates. We have individuals that are looking for advancement of their careers. They want to get into tech. We're providing them these resources and opportunities to grow. Here's what we're doing. What are you going to do? How are you going to help us move this forward and close the gap? I think it goes back to how we know people recruit. You recruit your existing networks and we all function in very segregated networks. And so we have to diversify our networks of people that we engage with. We know that the algorithms will deliver up exactly what we want if we allow it to. And we have to push it to bring mm -hmm. us in contact with different voices from different backgrounds so that we can see talent in other spaces. And if you are interviewing a slate of people, does not allow you to have the opportunity to hire with diversity in mind and representation in mind, you need to push your recruiting managers to help you do that and your talent managers to help you do that. Joined my team, I'll add this really quickly, and my team was not particularly diverse. And I made it point to bring in a better representation. And that representation looked different at different times. I hired very directly Black professionals on my team, but I also had a situation where I had a a heavily female team and I needed to respond to that issue. So I think that organizations need to look up at the makeup, their teams, look at their pipeline. Every team might have diversity issues that look different, but we know that at 3%, you likely have an issue of black talent on your team that is glaringly in front of your face. And we want you to know that places like success in black or talent pools in cities like Washington, DC or HBCUs or even PWIs can be great places to recruit black talent. Can we fix the issue from like, 
way before the recruiters and navigate younger people to make choices that would make it easier for them during the recruiting process. But to your point, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think every one of us can make decisions that would help propel the situation and correct it to having a better balance at work in terms of diversity by just stepping up. You don't have to be part of success in black. You could say, all right, let me take a look at my diversity. And if I need to take a step forward, I can connect with organizations like customer success in black and get access to that pool of talent to help correct social injustice, obviously. When we look at tech hubs, so there was a report by Indeed and it lists out the top tech hubs in the United States. So I believe like San Jose, California, Seattle, Washington, of course, Washington, DC, Boulder, Colorado. If you're not living near these tech hubs, it's hard to even probably think about a career in tech. So I'm fortunate enough to live within one. So I was exposed to that and I started in tech with a part-time job. It was just listed on the job search that I went through and that's how I got into it. But if I was living in the Midwest or maybe somewhere a little bit more rural, it's definitely harder and more challenging to get into tech. So one of the pieces of advice I have for black professionals that are actually coming into or wanting to transition into customer success with transferable skills like you mentioned sales, which they have it, customer service skills, project management is to network. If you can do it in real life, absolutely meet people, go to a tech event that's nearby you, go to anything where you can talk to people and ask those questions. If you're not living in an area where it's a tech hub and you have access to that, go online. So LinkedIn, again, was where I went. I found my mentor there. And again, she directed me to Success in Black. But it's super important to tap into a network, whether it's a virtual network or an in-person network, but you want to have a strong group of people, a strong foundation that can help you. But it's so important to actually network and make yourself available and accessible to other people. If I am a Black American and I want to go into customer success, would you recommend becoming a member at the Customer Success in Black? I would say there's four areas that I would suggest starting with. Number one is those transferable skills. Take stock of those. Look at what you have. Your background could be in sales, customer service, et cetera. I also personally suggest if you are in a non-tech related industry, look into the tech side of it. Or if there's a specific tech industry that you love learning about, look for roles there because being a CSM is akin to you being an advisor to the teams that you're working with. So the ability to build a story around data, like usage and adoption is so key. So being knowledgeable about that industry that your customer is in is going to help guide your recommendations for them. Number two, I would say be customer obsessed. This is an industry where it is all about relationship building. It's about empathy. It's about active listening. It's super customer facing. So being customer obsessed and just excited about building relationships is going to help you succeed. Number three, networking and tapping into success in black and other groups that you feel most comfortable joining. Definitely do that in real life or virtually. And then finally, I would actually say upskill. Upskill is huge. So there's different tech schools, boot camps that you can learn about data analytics. You can take courses via Google. You can tap into your network and ask them how they upskilled. So definitely continually building your skills in tech in areas that you're interested in is super important. It's going to take you far. Isha, any final words for anybody that's listening that is currently struggling to find a job in customer success or that needs just that extra level of support? Who should go to sign up for a success in Black? We encourage you to, to visit our website and our LinkedIn page. This is a community that you will get out of it what you put into it. We're here to support you. That's what true community is all about. So we encourage you to come join our community. You'll join our Slack community that gives you access to all of us, founding members and every member alike. We have community meetups that happen every Thursday, and there's a registration link that you'll have access to once you join to get that. We're expanding office hours and ways to be, be able to get you connected. We have active job boards. And then as Adria said, with that upskill, 
We offer discounted rates to CSM courses. And then I think it's, once again, it dials you into a tapped in network. I have had at least four just coffee chats with aspiring CSMs who are interested in wanting to know about me and my story and my path and what doors did I try to go knock on or kick through or open. One of the, the people that I spoke with recently, she said, every person that I've asked for help has given of their time. This is a community that is ready to pour into you and we're ready to support you. So we encourage you to just raise your hand and get started. If anybody here listening to this video or this podcast and you want to lean in and help, we're going to include the link to the LinkedIn page in the description to this episode. Feel free to reach out to the founders or any of these wonderful ladies I know I am, and hopefully we can set something up fairly quickly. I am inspired. Thank you so much for being in my life, even for a friction of a moment. I know there's some of you out there that are watching this or listening to this podcast episode. If your team is sparkly white, go check out the success in black. <laughs> Mix that in, okay? I know who you are. Let's make a difference. All right, guys, if you watch this video, you love what you saw, you're inspired by it. Go check out the LinkedIn page and reach out whether you want to be a member, correct the situation, tap into these amazing resources and open up opportunities. I guess what a wonderful place to be when you have the power to do so, to actually take the action, make it happen. All right. And with that, give this video a like if you are inspired, thinking about something new, wanted to connect with those folks or have a story about being in Success in Black and working with them that you wanted to share with others in the community to get more people involved. Thank you so much.